I done came a long way like I was K-Slate. In my heyday, I was young and productive. Still productive. You gotta love it. If you hate it, I don't give a fuck. Cause whether you suckers like it or not, I get a lot of love. They trying to hold me back, but I'm a fucking boss. Nobody telling me shit. That's how you cut a loss. Before it happened, I gotta try to keep my sanity. Lord knows I gotta try to stay away from vanity. I only troll five bitches. What's up? Got my coffee. And I got some tea. That's coffee and tea mix together. The tea is a... Uh, it's a, a anti-inflammatory. Forgot the name of it, but I guess I'll put it down in the uh, description when I get the chance. Guys, today I'm going to talk to you guys about uh, Kanye West. I believe now okay i believe now that kanye west has a uh, he's dealing with the identity crisis when he got with kim kardashian and when he was with amber rose a lot of people were calling him a coon they were calling him a white woman chaser they were calling him color struck blah 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 the reason i didn't i didn't jump on that train was because we live in a climate now where black women, let's, let's just call it what it is. The majority of black women are not worth anything. They're, they're, not, they're not worth anything. They do not provide for the black man, you know, and it has nothing to do with nappy hair, wide nose, big lips, nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the majority of black women's attitude. They're very difficult to deal with. That's what I attributed Kanye's choice of women to, okay? So I never looked at Kanye as a coon. I was always a supporter of Kanye, always, man. That's the homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kanye is the homie. And um, basically, you know, eventually he, he became a, you know, after Donald Trump became president, he became a staunch supporter of Donald Trump, which, you know what I'm saying? That pissed off a lot of people, you know, threw a lot of people off. And um, especially when he, you know, after he said uh, uh, Bush don't like black people, P people really thought that Kanye West was for black people. Uh, anyway, when he became a staunch supporter of Donald Trump, I still didn't think of, uh, of uh, Kanye West as a coon. I still didn't. I just thought that, you know what? He supports he supports Donald Trump because Kanye West is a capitalist. Kanye West is for like he's pro capitalist. Okay? For crying out loud, he's a he's a rapper and he's a capitalist. Okay? He's a he's a he's a multi-million dollar man. Uh, uh Donald Trump is a billionaire. I mean, shoot. It's like the billionaire boys club about this piece. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so I, I I think um that's why I thought that Kanye West or or that's why I think to this very day Kanye West supports or at least part of why he supports Donald Trump. Uh, you know Kanye West. I think he supports Donald Trump because Donald Trump is a is a is a um he's a capitalist. And he's president of the United States, so I don't think it had anything to do with color, because I'm pretty sure if 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 uh, Obama was a capitalist, Kanye West would have supported him just as much. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. Now, recently, guys, <laughs> Kanye West, you know, I always try to give him the benefit of the doubt because I know he's a little, you know, he's a little off. Everybody, everybody. <laughs> believes Kanye West is a little off, which he is, he is, but nobody's perfect, right? But recently what he did was he basically told the world that uh, he wanted a white man, a white actor, completely white, not mixed, to be, to play him in his biopic. Kanye West wants 
a white man to play as Kanye West in basically a documentary of Kanye West. That's when I came up with my conclusion that um, Kanye West is dealing with an uh, identity crisis. Now it's to the point where I, now I believe Kanye West really does wish he was white. He really does wish he was white. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, there's, there's no other conclusion. There's no other conclusion I could come up with other than he wished he was white. You know what I'm saying? Um, him getting with Kim Kardashian, him being with that drop dead gorgeous uh, uh, Amber Rose, him being with these women, that didn't convince me that he was, that he wanted to be a white man. Okay. But now that he wants a white man to play him in a movie, okay, yeah, now it's, now I have to just be real with y'all and just, you know, say, yeah, I do believe he's dealing with an uh, identity crisis. Um, maybe he's doing this for publicity, but, I, I, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think. Leave, you know, uh, leave your comment in the um, comment section. Hit that like button, guys. I need this video to rise up the ranks, all right? Um, it's King Leo. Make sure you subscribe. Doses. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money. I made of money. Hella paper flowing to me from separate sources. So much dope in the bank, it's hard to count the losses. The last of a giant breed, yeah, I'm talking bosses. Made of money, I made of money. You can keep that $30, boy, I made of money. That's lesson learned, yo, that's why it's hard to trust.